Hey Capricorns, this is Nikki here with your weekly reading. This is timeless, you all, so whenever you see it, I hope it resonates with you. Just to let you all know, I still have my $10, 20-minute freestyle reading going on. If you're interested on how to pay for that reading, the information is posted below this video here. And remember that whenever you make a payment, you email me to verify your email address. If you can't verify, if I can't verify your email address, I will have to refund your money, okay? All right, Capricorn, we're going to get rolling on your weekly reading. I hope it resonates. Take what you need and leave the rest. There's some kind of uh, indecisiveness or you can't make up your mind about a, a, a commitment, something that you're committed to, maybe a relationship or maybe something else, okay? Got the, the king of wands here. Somebody wants to make an action move toward you. Yeah, I have the Chariot, and I have the Ace of Cups. Somebody still has strong feelings for you. But they previously left you out in the cold, or vice versa. We have the Three of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Pentacles here, okay? Maybe this is a situation where you met somebody, you, you hooked up with somebody at work, okay? And it caused a tower moment. It, it ended badly here. But you have a new pathway anyway past this relationship or past this person. Okay? They left you out. At, they left you. Or maybe they broke up with you to move to a different state. They ended the relationship to move to a different state. Uh, maybe they uh, asked you to marry them and you couldn't because they moved to a different state and you had to stay where you are. But this is happening something maybe when you were younger. And now the ships have sailed. They're realizing that, huh, I want this person back in my life. I found a job in my home state, and I want to go back and see if that person is still available. Okay? Because you, this person hurt you, and they, they, this person hurt you years ago because of income. They took this leap of faith and followed their pursuit of happiness and not their pursuit of love. But they've never stopped thinking about you, Capricorn. And they're looking back and like, oh man, I'm going back home. I'm going back to my home state, and I want to see if she or he is still available. They want to know if you're still available. Okay. Got the six of cups. They've spent. They've had a lot going on in their life. And they've never stopped thinking about you, Capricorn. And they they know that they got to take their ship home. They got to drive home, and wondering if you're still available. Got the page of wands, cause you after everything that this person's been through in their life, they still love you. Okay, cause we have here they have some kind of regret for leaving you behind, but in, they had to do what they had to do for themselves. You know, for their their pathway. It's not that they didn't love you. They wanted you to go, but for whatever reason, you couldn't, okay? And they want you back. They've always held on to their feelings for you. They've always held out hope that you would be together again someday for a family. They're coming back with this Ten of Pentacles energy. They want you to be a part of their family, whether you have children or not. They still want to take this leap of faith and come back to you because this person is coming back with bank. This person is coming back with money, okay? And they haven't forgotten about you, no matter what it is. They always felt that you were the one for them. Okay? They never stopped thinking. They never stopped thinking about you. Okay? They want to come back and give you their heart. And not only that, Capricorn. Not only do they want to come back to give you their heart, they want to come back and give you so much more because this person got bank. Okay? They never stopped thinking about you. They never stopped thinking about how much they hurt you. And they think about this a whole lot. They know that you have a capacity of making and keeping them happy. They've always known that about you. They've always known that you were the one for them. And they always regret hurting you. But they had to go do what they had to do. So I'm hearing something about a doctor. Maybe they want to be a doctor. Okay? And they, they've done everything they needed to do on their end. Now they're coming back home to pursue you. But still making that money. Okay? See? They come back home. A little older, but they're coming back home. A little grayer, but they're coming back home. They're looking for you to, to balance things out, to work things out. And to say, look, I'm coming back because you are my wish fulfillment. Will you love me again? I'm work, They're working. They may come back with some kind of gift. It ain't going to be a cheap gift either. 
It's not going to be a cheap dime, dime store imitation either. It's going to be a nice gift. If you don't want it, give it to me, Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, you make this person's world go round and round and round. But they also think that you may have somebody else. They're not really sure if you're married or in a committed relationship. But everything is going well in this person's life aside from love. Okay? And they're breaking out of their mold, their own mold, and coming to, to pursue you. Because they figure, look, look, this is somebody who I've always wanted to have in my life. I'm sorry I have to hurt this person. I don't want this person. I never wanted this person to think negatively of me. I just had to live my life at the time. I had to go for my go for where I know I wanted to be happy. I, I wanted to follow my dreams. Okay. You've come they've come full circle because of they they've manifested a great life for themselves. They're making money and everything, but now they want to come back for you. But it may be some kind of conflict. Even with that, they're conflicted inside their mind, but they're wanting to move forward to you because they never forgot about the purity of the relationship. They, there was something sacred about the relationship, and they want you, they want you back, okay? Because they love you, and they know they they intuitively, instinctively know that that you love them, and you probably still have feelings for them, and they know this. They don't want the the bridges to be burned down for this connection. They are hoping and praying intuitively that you are available to love them again. So to love them all over again because they have never forgotten about loving you. You've always been the empress. And they know that they hurt you by walking away. And they know that truly it has never been completely over with between you all. Not in the, in, not in the way you may think because they've always felt that you've been their wish fulfillment. Always, okay, no matter what happened, you all didn't, you ended the relationship, but you ended it out of necessity, okay, because they had to pursue their life, their goals. Okay, Capricorn. I have these surrender cards. What is it that you need to surrender? Surrender to spirit? Huh. Surrender to non-action. Surrender to joy. Oh, that card fell on the floor. And finally, you need to surrender to trust. Okay? Surrender to spirit. Okay? Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal... Turn the, the situation over to the divine and let spirit work its magic for you. Okay, your friend, your soulmate, your significant other has worked their tail off to be recommitted to loving you again. Okay, I have here surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. Let others come to you. If you've already always wondered about this person, where this person was, they've always thought about you. They've never forgotten you. Let others come to you, Capricorn, and they're coming back. Full circle. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by others, other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path and your, your person. They are so confident that they've chosen the right path because if they chose, literally, if they chose you Capricorn over their path, they wouldn't be where they are today financially. They loved you. They wanted you to go with them, but you couldn't because of your obligations where you are. But they're coming back. They're coming back. Okay. Surrender to joy. Surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering more to joy. Keep surrendering to more joy. This person is joyous. They're at a place in their life to where they're finally able to breathe and relax. They've made their, they stake their claim to where they are. And now they're moving back home to work, to thrive more, and to come and get you. Okay, Capricorn? Capricorn. 